everyone! Welcome to Marika Creations! Today I will share with you three DIYs and I have been inspired by my fellow YouTube creators. So before each of the DIYs I will quickly introduce you to the YouTube creator and uh, show you a photo of uh, the piece that I have been inspired to recreate. I will leave uh, links to my inspiration videos down in my description box if you want to check it out later. So stay tuned for that! My first inspiration was this piece that Kiki at Kiki DIYs made. I just love it, it's adorable. And this is what I have, this little box crate that I bought for like one euro. And uh, Kiki used some medicine bottles, but I just had one. So I decided to go for these glass jars that used to have baby food in them. Perfect for my creation. And some nautical rope as handles on the side of the crate. First thing, spray paint my jars in a copper color and this copper color spray paint is so good it only took one coat perfect finish i wanted a darker tone on my little crate so here i am mixing brown and black acrylic paint to get a dark brown color took a little uh, too much black so uh, i had to put in some more brown and once mixed i also put in some water to make it more liquidy because this will be like a stain for me and i will apply my stain with a little sponge just put it on and wipe it off with a paper tissue as I go just a little bit at a time and it will have that stain effect and I love how it turned out and now I'm just making sure that everything is covered with this stain both inside and out Then I just went over all the edges and all the um, corners to make sure that no light wood was showing. And then it was time to make the handles. Just measured how long I wanted them and I made two of them. And hot glue them into place like you see me do there. Same on the other side. And a little more hot glue. Make them even sturdier. Then I decided to put some jute twine around the nautical rope. So it looks like they were actually tied there, not just hot glued into place. It looks a bit more rustic, I think. Kiki had some black on the edges and I didn't have uh, very many popsicle sticks but I had uh, just two of them so I just put them on the front of my crate um, cut them to size and then uh, painted them with a black acrylic paint I'm 
my jars are looking good and they have dried and now I just uh, put on some jute wine on the top of the jars with the help of some hot glue. This video is also part of a challenge, a Try It Tuesday and it is hosted by Sammy at Unicorn Dust Design and her co-host is Teresa at Teresa B D I Y. And if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links to the channels down in my description box, along with a link to the playlist of this challenge, so you can get loads of inspiration. And then I needed some greenery and I just cut a few picks and put three picks in each of the jars and then I just call it done and here they are on my kitchen counter looking super cute thank you very much Kiki for the inspiration And my second DIY is this beautiful burlap envelope filled with hearts made by Elizabeth at Dandy Soap DIY. And for my creation, I have this burlap sack and um, a piece of paper. My burlap is very thin. Uh, so I need the paper to make it more sturdy. So first I make a square of my paper and cut off the excess. And then I just put it on my burlap and um, I will see where I need to cut it. A little bit bigger than the piece of paper. And I just pull some threads of uh, the dew twine to get a nice sort of canal so I know exactly where to cut it so it will be nice and straight. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika, and on this channel I do lots of DIYs decorating, renovation of my home, thrifting, pottery, painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. And now I put my piece of paper on top there and before I glue it into place I just fold it like that to get a center and then hot glue it into place. Now this will be the envelope as you might have guessed. So first I just fold it into the center there and uh, the sides I just measure and see if it's if it looks okay and then I just hot glue it into place just like you see me do there looking good already but I'm not done just yet just cutting off some loose phrase there I have this cute little fabric that I will cover the inside of the envelope with some a little bit of lining so I just cut it to size fold it in half and cut it so it will be like a square and then I will fray it because I like the edge of that 
it looks a bit more rustic. Put it in place and uh, attach it with some hot glue. And once done, I will embellish it a bit further. I have this um, lace ribbon that I will cover the edges of the envelope with like that. Just hot glue it into place. And on the other side as well. And here I decided to also continue on the back side. It, maybe it won't show, but it I know it has a nice finish. And then a little bit more there on the upper part of uh, the envelope as well. And then I take this wooden heart and hot glue it in the center of the envelope. And now I take a piece of uh, jute twine and tie a tiny, tiny bow, which I will hot glue in the center of the heart. Like so, cut off the excess and the envelope is done. Now on to the hearts. I take the same fabric as I did with the lining and I have this wooden heart with, which I will use as a template and just that didn't work did it and take another pen and I will trace around the heart and then I will cut it with my scissors just slightly outside of my markings I want it slightly bigger than that I will only make one heart for my envelope. I know that Elizabeth made plenty of uh, fabric hearts, but I will only make this one. And before I glue the parts together, I will embellish the front with some lace ribbon to match the envelope. And now it's time to hot glue them together. Just put some hot glue on the edges and uh, almost all the way around, I'll just leave an opening on the top there so I can fill it. First, I take some pillow stuffing and just put it around the edges inside the heart. And the center, I will fill it with something else. I know that Elizabeth have some cinnamon in her heart to have that uh, nice scent and I will take what I have in that box and that is lavender. This is actually lavender from my former garden in the southern part of France and uh, I will fill the center of my heart with some of this lavender. I wish you could smell this. I just love the scent of lavender. Once I'm done, just some more pillow stuffing and then I will take some uh, white 
string and put in as a hanger if you want to hang it somewhere and then just close it up with some hot glue. I will embellish it a bit further with some cute little buttons, some white buttons that I put on top there in between the lace ribbons. And I will just hot glue them into place. Trim it a little bit. And it looks like that. Now I will just take some uh, cardboard just to open up the envelope a little bit. And um, not enough, some pillow stuffing and the cardboard and that will do. Just to keep it a little bit open. And here it is. And I decided to put in some lavender picks in front there as well to go with the scent of the heart. I think it's adorable. And I am glad that I did the back side there since I leaned it against a mirror. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the inspiration. My last DIY is this ball with some twine made by Leonep at DIY Beauty on purpose and um, it's just so beautiful, simple but beautiful and I have this ball that I made a couple of years ago and I just love it. So I have this nautical rope that I will cut two handles of and I just untangle them just a little bit before I glue them into place with hot glue so that they will not be so bumpy when I put on the nautical rope around the ball. And I would just hot glue my way around the ball until I am happy with the look of it. I think this way, just to put some twine on a ball like this, really takes a piece of decor to another level and it's so easy to do I noticed that the handles are a little bit droopy so I will fix that by just putting a little bit of hot glue underneath the handle like you see me do there And here it is sitting on my coffee table looking beautiful. Thank you for the inspiration, Leonip. So tell me, what do you think? Did you have a favorite of my recreations? Let me know in the comments. So if you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos. You can always click the link that will just come on the screen right here so you can continue watching my DIYs playlist. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.